Hello everyone, it's good to see you again. It's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's article's title says, China's version of Tower Bridge. So version is your own way of making something. So we have China's way of copying a very famous bridge called the Tower Bridge. So you can see the two different pictures that are comparing the two different uh, locations. They're in different places, but it's the same design, the same version. So let's look at the article. It says, Tower Bridge, which stands over the Thames River in London, is one of the world's most famous bridges, right? So you can see the picture. It's a very famous bridge. And where is it? It's in London. Since 1894, it has been a landmark of the British capital and attracted hordes of visitors year round. So if you look at that sentence, uh, since over 200 years ago, about 200 years ago, it has been a landmark. So a landmark is a famous place where people remember where everything else is. So if you look in Korea, Lotte Tower has become a landmark uh, because people can see it, they recognize it, they say, oh, I know where that is. And they use that as a place to meet and they use that as a place to kind of figure out where they are. So that's a landmark. So this uh, Tower Bridge has been a famous landmark in London, which is the British capital, and it has attracted hordes of visitors. So hordes means a large group. We usually use hordes with animals. So if you see a lot of cows or bulls running, we would say those are hordes. So hordes can also be used for a group, a large group of people coming and going. So there's great number of visitors all throughout the year to uh, London's Tower Bridge. So the next paragraph it says, in 2012, a replica of Tower Bridge called Suzhou Tower Bridge was built in the Jiangcheng district of the southeastern Chinese city of Suzhou. So here in the city of Suzhou, they made their own version of the same bridge that's in London. <clears throat> so uh, it says southeastern Chinese city. So southeastern is the bottom right side and it's called the Suzhou Tower Bridge, okay? And a replica means the exact same copy, okay? So the exact same copy of the Tower Bridge that's originally in London was built here in the Chinese city of Suzhou. Uh, located above the Yuatang River, the bridge is 45.9 meters wide and 40 meters tall, with four turrets instead of tower bridges too. So it's very similar, it's very large, 45.9 meters wide and 40 meters tall, and it has four turrets. A turret is like a small structure that comes out of a building. So you see those pointed edges, those are the turrets. So it's a rising uh, kind of a structure on top of a building. So here, the original in London only has two of these turrets, but the one in China, the Suzhou uh, Tower Bridge has four turrets. The Suzhou Bridge also has elevators and coffee shops, so that's something different than the original in London. Uh, this replica of a global landmark has fueled controversy. So controversy is when people disagree, they argue about it, people are unhappy, there's a lot of talk about it. So this replica, this copy of a world famous landmark, right, has caused people, fueled means it keeps it going, uh, has caused a lot of arguments or disagreements. Many newspapers covered uh, the, the Suzhou Bridge with photos, uh, with one headline saying, Suzhou's amazing London Tower Bridge, even more magnificent than the real one. So people, uh, especially in the newspapers, they're saying that the one in Suzhou is much more magnificent. It's greater, right? It's more beautiful uh, or amazing than the real one. So this caused a lot of people to be even more unhappy. Among Chinese uh, netizens, however, the bridge rapidly turned into a source of shame over the structure's lack of originality. So uh, the Chinese netizen, so netizen is a newer word, it's, it's about people who are constantly on the internet. Those are people who are on the blogs and they comment a lot. So those are called the netizens. Uh, so it's for net for the internet and zens for, I guess, citizens, right? So people belonging to. So uh, those people who are always on the computer in China, they uh, believe that it's turning into something that they're ashamed of, 
because it lacks originality. Originality means you are the first one or you did it all by yourself or it's your brand new idea and it's saying it's not, right? It's lacking that meaning it doesn't have any of originality. So they are saying that because it's just a copy, a lot of people are making fun of it or commenting against it. So a lot of people in China, it used to be something they were proud of, but now it's something that a lot of those people are not so proud of. Uh, China also has many replicas of renowned structures, including one Eiffel Tower, two Great Sphinxes, four Arch de Triomphe, the E. Etaloi and at least 10 White Houses. So there's so many different copies that they've made in China. Uh, they've taken famous buildings from around the world and they've copied it and made a replica. So like the White House where the president stays in America, the Eiffel Tower, very famous uh, structure in France. So all of these uh, famous buildings and structures have been created again and put in China. So there's a lot of talk about is that a good idea to do or does it lack originality? So there's a lot of talk amongst the people who are visiting China and visiting the real places all around the world. Very interesting article. So let's take a look at some of our comprehension uh, questions. Here you can see uh, the famous bridge. Where is Tower Bridge located in London? So uh, we talked about the location exactly and it was over the Thames River. So there you see the river. Uh, where was Suzhou's Tower Bridge built? Uh, when was it built? So it wasn't built too long ago and if you remember it was built in 2012. And the last question, what is inside Suzhou's Tower Bridge? So we said there's something there that isn't in the original uh, Tower Bridge over the Thames River. And those are two different things and elevators and coffee shops. So if you go to the original uh, in London, you would have to walk up a lot of stairs and you would have to go somewhere else for coffee, but not the one in Suzhou. The final Comprehension questions, it says, since 1894, it has been a blank of the British capital and attracts hordes of visitors year round. So we said that the original one uh, in the British capital of London, it's been a very famous place that people can recognize and know where they are, meet there. We said that that is called, that's right, a landmark. So since 1894, the, the famous bridge has been a landmark for the people living in London. Uh, let's look at question B. It says this replica of a global landmark has fueled what? So we said that because it's a copy, a replica, it has fueled or continued to let people do. That's right. They were arguing. So it's a controversy. So there's a lot of things in the news that becomes a controversy. That's a subject where people have different opinions and they discuss it and sometimes even argue about it. And the last question, Suzo's amazing London Tower Bridge even more something than the real one. Remember, this was a title of a newspaper that they were making in China and this fueled even more controversy because they said it's even more, that's right, magnificent. It's greater, more beautiful, uh, more outstanding than the real one. So as you can see in China, they're making a lot of different replicas from all around the world. Some people think it's beautiful and some people are arguing over it because it lacks originality. They should make their own. So I wonder how you feel about it. Do you think it's okay to copy someone else's work, make a replica because it's so great and beautiful and famous, or should people make their own? This is something that may stay in controversy. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's article and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.